What is Spider Farmer's most affordable SF Series light? Welcome to the Hippie Geeks. Let's take a look at the Spider Farmer SF 1000D and see what its par levels are. As always, the Spider Farmer SF 1000D is packaged incredibly well and made it to us with no damage at all. The cardboard is nice and thick and there is plenty of foam to keep it from bouncing around as it made its way to Hawaii. The front of the light looks a bit different than any of the other Spider Farmer board style lights, and you can see the various electronics bits on the front of the board that you will not see on any of the other lights. When you flip the board over, however, you will see the largest difference, and that is the fact that there is no dimmer functionality or on-off switch with this light, it is just always on full blast all the time. You will want to use some kind of timer or switch to turn it on or off, although you could also just run auto flowers under it with the light on 24 hours a day. The SF-1000D also comes with its hanging hardware and a pair of ratcheting hangers, which is all you are going to need to get this thing hung. With that said, let's get it in the tent and check out what its PAR levels look like. Starting out with the light hanging at 12 inches above the PAR sensor, we are looking at just under 600 PAR in the center of the tent, with it dropping pretty hard at the corners to around 150 PAR. That is because these smaller lights just don't reach all the way out to the edges of the tent, and most of the light is going to be concentrated directly under it. The light itself is only 12 and a half inches by 11 inches, which means that you could actually squeeze four of these lights into this tent if you were really feeling ambitious. I don't know that I would recommend doing that as it wouldn't be very cost effective, but if you were able to pick a few of them up used, or over a span of time as you could afford them, that would be one way to pump an absolute ton of light into a tent this size for not a lot of money. However, this light is going to be your best bet to use when you are trying to get your first grow going, and in an upcoming video series we are going to talk about what the best bang for your buck is at different price points, and what exactly we would recommend in each size tent setup. With this light in particular, if you added in their 28 inch by 28 inch grow tent, along with their 4 inch exhaust fan kit, you would be pretty much set up without breaking the bank for your first grow. Next up, we are going to move the light up to 18 inches above the PAR meter, and while the measurement at the center of the tent has dropped down to just over 300 PAR, the light levels in the rest of the tent are actually pretty even, which is going to put the sweet spot for hanging this light somewhere between 12 inches and 18 inches, just depending on how much light you need at each stage of whatever it is you are growing. This is the most entry-level grow light that Spider Farmer makes in their SF series of grow lights, and looking at their website right now, you can pick it up for $67, which is really affordable for a 100-watt grow light. As always, using our coupon code GEEKS will give you 8% off of your order, which will help to make this light even more affordable. They do have some other lights in the garden series that are comparable in price, and we are going to be looking at those in the near future as well, they are lower powered than this light is, however, and are more intended to be used to grow things on one of their shelving units. After that, we are going to move the light up to 24 inches above the PAR meter, and the light levels are going to really even out here, with the center of the tent showing 221 PAR, and the outside corners pretty close to that. Hanging the light at this point would actually be a good height if you wanted to start a lot of seedlings across the entire bottom of the tent, as a lot of seedlings thrive in this amount of light. This will also allow the plant you are growing to naturally start getting more and more intense light levels as it gets taller, which can really make it easy to grow as you don't have to move the light to get more intense coverage of the canopy. This is really the highest that I would personally hang this light, but we also have par measurements at a couple of more heights, but that is just going to illustrate the point I am making about where to hang this light to get the best results. Finally, we are just going to take a look at the PAR levels when this light is hung at 30 inches above the PAR meter. I was initially going to be showing the levels at 36 inches and 48 inches like I have done with most of our unboxing and PAR test videos, but the levels just drop off so much after this point that I don't think anyone should be growing with the light set so far away from the canopy. At this height, the center of the tent has dropped down to 162 PAR in the center, with the corners being almost exactly the same. This would be a good hanging height for more sensitive seedlings, but if you want to have your light hung this high or higher, you really should be looking into a larger light instead, as that is going to give you more flexibility. 
I am honestly surprised with just how much light this little unit is pumping out, and I think that a lot of folks could really see come good results if they gave this light a chance. A big thank you to Spider Farmer for sending the SF-1000D over for us to take a look at. If you would like to try it out for yourself or any of their other gear, I will leave links to it on their website in the description down below. Make sure to use discount code GEEKS at checkout to get 8% off of your entire order.